Please join me Sunday night for a look at how another summit three decades ago changed the world. Three Days in Moscow covers President Ronald Reagan's efforts to reach a nuclear agreement with Soviet, uh, Soviet President, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. It's based on my new book, Three Days in Moscow. Here's a preview. When I came in in 1982, Reagan was still uh, in full-throated denunciation of the Soviet Union. Uh, he was still very much playing the Cold Warrior. What I'm describing now is a plan and a hope for the long term. The march of freedom and democracy, which will leave Marxism, Leninism on the ash heap of history. Few, even among his allies, shared his belief that the Cold War was winnable. There was a huge argument within the administration. People in the Defense Department and the CIA both thought the Soviet Union was there, that was detente. We're here, there, there, that's life. Get along. The American public seemed to agree. Nearly three quarters favored a nuclear freeze by the United States and Soviet Union. I urge you to beware the temptation of pride, the temptation of blithely uh, declaring yourselves above it all. That sparked Reagan's most forceful criticism ever of the Soviet Union. To ignore the facts of history and the aggressive impulses of an evil empire, to simply call the arms race a giant misunderstanding, and thereby remove yourself from the struggle between right and wrong and good and evil. I was at the speech where he talked about the evil empire and the focus of evil in the modern world. It was stunning. Even by Reagan's standards, that was pretty blunt and pretty raw. Three Days in Moscow debuts Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time.